Hello, everybody, and welcome to a Wednesday afternoon here on Cobalt Press. I am your littlest red dot. Uh, you know, we're here to do some GM planning. This evening, we've got the continuation of Fimble Winter, which is the Northlands campaign we're running for the month of December. And, uh, you know, we got uh, we got some fun stuff to do. Uh, we're going to look a little bit at lore. And uh, I got inspired when planning this and started building some... Uh, I don't want to call it a table, but I guess it's like a visual for my notes because that seemed a lot easier since we're using a really special VTT. I thought that'd be a cool thing to share with all of you. Uh, so yeah, any announcements we have? We kicked off Empire of the Ghouls last night. Uh, wowzer, uh, what a game. We're going to be running that for 12 weeks so you can get caught up right now. And uh, yeah, the best way to do that is to go right over to the VOD here on Twitch, at least for the next few days, and then you can check it out over on YouTube after that. Uh we they had a, a prologue or like a prelude uh episode uh before it came over to cobalt press and uh we've i have that up for you as well so you know content for you to consume uh right now we are definitely in hard prep for pax you be on the lookout we have a couple panels uh coming to the schedule which you definitely want to check out um right now we are confirmed for a tabletop freelancing 101 panel that has an incredible uh lineup of people actually let me see if i can find that for all of you actually i believe if you just go to the pax you website you can search the schedule for it uh, but yeah, it's a great lineup, uh, really, uh, I think knowledgeable panelists for this one. Uh, and we have two more that we haven't quite announced yet, but we are working on those and solidifying our panelists for it. So, uh, be on the lookout. I'll be moderating a few panels live and you know what, even if you can't be there, don't fret, you can actually catch us because we're going to be streaming, uh, to the PaxU channel. I believe PaxU 2, number 2, uh, is, uh, is going to be on the... It's gonna be it's gonna be live, so you'll be able to see it no matter where you are uh, out there in the world. Um, yeah, this week it seems like a slow week after the holidays. I hope yours were really really good. Uh, I know we ran a few really awesome Black Friday deals uh, and a Cyber Monday uh, setup uh, for all of you. So hopefully you got your your little grubby cobalt paws and whatever you know or claws, I guess I should say, uh, on whatever you might have been missing from your collection. I've had a few new things come in. Let's see. Uh, most importantly. Just reach back here on this shelf of wonder. Like a pro. Okay. My Vault of Magic book came in, uh, which is awesome. Uh, I have, uh, I have some favorites. Uh, I marked this one because it's my favorite. Uh, but the, uh, Deborah Ann Wool's magic item, which was the Matryoshka dolls, I think are, are just such a fun one. Um, but the art is so good, and, oh, I'm gonna sneeze, y'all. Bless me. Okay. Um, yeah, there's, like, so many cool things, like, Manual of Exercise, uh, very cool for, like, a monk character. Um, I think what I enjoyed the most is, like, the vastness of, of what it all is, and you know what, if, if, if I know Cobalt Press at all, they have organized these by... Oh, so many magic item tables, too. I'm gonna have to start just pulling those up. That's so great. Um, sometimes they will... I know that in the, the Beast uh, tomes, they organize them by, like, location and type, which is really handy. I'm getting all down and dirty into this manual, and I shouldn't. Yeah. It's Wolf's Howl's Ring. I might have to... I'd have to that might be a good one for this you know really i should go through this for the northlands game and see what kind of wintry wintry objects they've got uh a devilish doubloon huh whoa that's really cool okay um crowns a communal flute so cool Man, the art is just stunning. Wondrous items. Weapons. More rings. A Kraken clutch ring. I love this. It's so clutch. <laughs> so good. Hardening polish. That's really cool. They have a bunch of consumables too. Oil of defloation. 
Huh. Weed killer oil. This greasy amber fluid contains the crushed husk of a dozen locusts. One vial of the oily substance can coat one weapon or up to five pieces of ammunition. Huh. Oil of extreme bludgeoning. Wow. So many cool things. Okay, uh, I got sidetracked. Uh, more to the point. I definitely gonna have to come through here and find some cool, like, winter-themed items. Because I imagine there are some cool ones that we can use for the Northlands game. Speaking of the Northlands game, let's start. Let's start some planning, y'all. I'll come back to that. Uh, all right. Let's let's let, let's look at this. Uh, staring at my mug. Let's do this. All right. So I, I was like, okay. Uh, the whole campaign is based on. Okay, this is a sh okay. Heads up, forewarning, this is a huge spoiler alert. So anybody that's watching the show, you're going to have some things spoiled. Uh, the players, obviously, after only one episode, have not figured this out quite yet, but... Spoilers. So, uh, Fimble Winter is being rumored to be here. Fimble Winter, of course, is the series of events that lead up to Ragnarok. At least in, in lore standard. Or, uh, and... Loki, because he's Loki, uh, has decided that he wants to speed up the process. Um, he wants to make basically a false Fimble Winter. Um, thinking that if he can get the activities in place, he can make it happen. Um, or maybe just see complete chaos because he's Loki. So he is working with his bestie. We'll call it, we'll call it his bestie. One of, one of, one of the gods, the other gods that tend to, uh, be friends with our dear, our dear Loki, which aren't very many for the record. As you can imagine. Um, but it's this guy, Chernabog. Uh, Chernabog. Uh, and Chernabog has a following, a cult following, kind of already in place. Which is not something Loki really has. Followers of Loki are kind of few and far between. Because he doesn't... He's not the same kind of god or demigod. So, uh, he's working with his friend here to begin to sow discontent, uh, amongst, in, in, in certain ways. Um, and it has to be, obviously, the two events, which is the extended winter, which Loki has been working with these three hags in the Night Cauldron of Chernabog to force a false back-to-back-to-back -back -back winter. So the players uh, will learn this through a series of events, but they will be, they're probably going to end up having to go take out this hag coven as kind of the, the piece of it. But of course, they're working towards the other end as well, which is creating war. Now, last week, they kind of found out all this information about the honey that was being used in town, uh, which really shouldn't be here because it's from a place called Bjornreich, which is the, uh, is, is the land of the bear folk. Um, and they have a security structure in place that is based on bees, uh, and these bees make all of the honey that feeds all the bear folk of Bjornreich, and, and then some. Loki has managed to get his hands on some, an excess amount, in fact, and so he's been selling it out, uh, back and forth. Um, yeah. He's been trading it, uh, illegally. In fact, with two of the characters I met last week, which are the two brothers that worship Loki. And, uh, this week they're gonna find out a little bit more about that process, uh, they may end up at a cove uh, uh, on the... Actually, I can probably pull this up too. Let's see. The... Uh, the Midgard map. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, so we're up here. Alright, so... Uh, the players are currently in this, this area called Wolfheim. Uh, here in the middle of this map. Uh, at the end of this, like, peninsula is Reaver's Cave, where a lot of trading goes on. This is actually a location in Empire of the Ghouls, but, uh, Reaver's Cave. Uh, so we're gonna look and see if we can figure out a way to kind of create Reaver's Cave, uh, today as a possibility. Uh, but I actually have a feeling they're going to end up heading north. Because we set them up last week for, uh, they're seeking out, uh, as per their bear friend they met, uh, yeah, they're meeting this uh, this seer for a kind of dwarven ritual. Um, and I can talk to you about that too. That's actually in the Warlock Grimoire. I'm using a lot of our different text uh, to kind of like piece this together. Because uh, there's not actually a lot of information on Fimblewinter or Loki. Just that like 
it's a thing. Okay, so I believe, let's see. Wait, is this the right one? Did I grab the right one? Oh, I might have grabbed the wrong one. This is Grimoire too. I thought this it was in this. Might be in the other one. Hang on. Let's find out. Un momento, por favor. Hmm. <laughs> it would be in the other Grimoire. Hold fast and true. Okay. Let's see if that is actually true. I won't need that one anymore. Okay. There is information about the dwarves. Um, specifically, uh, some of their kind of uh, practices. Here we go. Let's do this. Yes, here we go. Folklores of the, the Feast Halls of the Northlands. Uh, 14. That is what I am seeking. Close enough. Here we go. Okay. Written by, of course, our dear Wolfgang himself. Okay, so... Uh, these The northern folk, specifically the Jarldoms, uh north, where a lot of the dwarves stay... Um, they get these uh, these famous feasting halls, much like I uh, imagine we think of the Vikings. Um, there are four famous ha halls, the Golden Sky Hall, the Great Moss Hall, Yarn Hall, and El Echo Loin? Echo Loin Hall? Okay. Um, that being said, there are some cool things that go down, one of which is this dwarven... That's the Great Moss Hall. That's not the one I want. This is it. Yarn Hall. This is where they're going to be headed. Um, there is an oracle that lives here. Uh, what they don't know is that she really only serves the dwarves. But they're showing up for this dwarven ritual. Where uh, they gather. Um, here we go. This is what I'm looking for. Yeah. So basically they gather. And the oracle chooses one person to ask a question. So, on the feast night, the dwarves summon keg golems and toast their ancestors, sing songs of new deeds and old ballads, until midnight when the priest of Vlond strikes the anvil in the closing rhythm. When he calls out in the cadence of the old high dwarvish, the name of one living person in the hall. Almost always a full-grown dwarf, but on rare occasions a child, a human, or even one memorable knight, a trollkin in deep disguise. That person's name is echoed by those feasting on the hall, and that person may ask one question of the Grindstone Oracle. So they're going to be meeting this Grindstone Oracle. They, of course, will not be chosen to ask a question because uh, it's, a, it's kind of a dwarf thing. But she's going to notice them there. And she is the one who actually knows that Loki is faking this that it is all a, a ruse uh so that's that's kind of the big piece and then she's going to inform them of their two options um and the easiest one being to stop the hag's spell of extended winter uh they could also this is where my jam notes come in the two things they could also attempt his his uh his kind of path on stopping vast war. Um, he's going to make an attack on the bear folk of Bjornreich. Um, this is where the honey comes in. He's actually doing research. He's using Chernabog and the cult to do research on the honey to kind of reverse alter it to be a poison against the beast so he can kill off what's protecting that city. Um, and along this army will be Fenrir himself, the great wolf, uh, who, uh, well, uh, we don't want unleashed, especially not uh, directly into the city, the biggest city of the Bear Folk. And so once he can kind of begin war and start war uh, in the Northlands and the three winters have passed, uh, you know, is it really Ragnarok? Probably not. But he's seeded enough discontent and chaos that it could be. So um, I really don't think they're going to go this route. One, because uh, the Bear Folk uh, NPC that I have set up for them 
uh, is going to actually, when they learn this information about the, the like, faking it and the potential attack on Bjornreich, is going to make his way back to Bjornreich to inform them of what's going on. So they're going to have kind of an ally in that because this is a short campaign. And I think they're going to end up really focusing on this coven of the Night Cauldron. Uh, so they'll learn a lot more um, about this once they visit the Oracle, which I hope to get to today. Um, I hope. Um, yeah. We shall see. Uh, they've really uh, dug into the town and they're going to be visiting the Reaver Caverns today. So this is really uh, the next step in my notes. Let's close that. Close. Yes. Done. Done. Hmm. Why is it being this way? Hmm. I'm going to refresh the page. <clears throat> okay. So, uh, they've met the brothers. They figured out there's some, like, illegal trading going on. Um, And that Loki is involved. They have a couple more places in the town that they could visit inside of Wolfheim, which would be the temple, which they might do. Um, there's an apothecary in town that's leaving. Uh, he's peacing out and may have some information for them. He's actually a raven folk. Um, and it kind of put this right. The, the Krog going, uh, twins. Uh, Carol's Corral will inform them that the reindeer have been going missing. They were actually searching for the reindeer, um, which is actually a pack of wolves. Um, so what I'm going to do, I actually kind of already have this, uh, pack of wolves. Um, I'm going to make a new note. Yeah, so he's going to use these wolves as a way to keep people from exiting Wolfheim in case they figure out what's going on. Okay, the temple. Now, the temple is really going to be a place where that informs them of, um, uh, uh, about Loki and, and, uh, his place in the Pantheon. Might also, um, they could probably find out about Fenrir here, since Fenrir is technically Loki's spawn. Got a buzz. Maybe to make sure it wasn't cobalt and I wasn't saying anything I wasn't supposed to. <laughs> okay. Um, so, uh, got those notes. Let's actually switch over to the game because I need to finish setting everything up and make sure it's all in place. So, I'm going to take you from here. Nope. From here to here. Boom. All right. Let's pop over here. Let's see what we've got going on. Um... We need some, like, sound in here. Shh. Music and sounds. What does that sound like? Oh, no. It's not playing through my headphones. Oh, no. Oh, there it goes. a little it's um it's a little what sort i'm looking for uh it's a little too time a time period appropriate let's see they have like a i wonder if they have an indoor tag let's see hmm Tavern. Mountain Tavern. Perfect. Let's see how that sounds. That's some tavern music.
kind of loud. Oof, so loud. I don't think I can balance it. That's okay. All right, so we got that little ambience, as we call it. They've got tons of of these dwarf reavers to speak with. Needs to come forward. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to hit this one. Okay, let's. Hmm, I want to edit that, but I don't know how, so we're just going to uh, transform Eula here. Oh, I guess I could take control of her and put her behind it. There we go. There we go. I have no idea what that is glowing back there, but oh well. Okay. So, uh, we're good to go here. Um, yes, the reavers are down on docks. Okay, so let's go back uh, while everybody's in the tavern and let's check the temple and make sure it's set up. I'm pretty sure I did an okay job. Oh, I know what else. Uh, placing the Pantheon. Should we be able to more information on the brothers? I'm going to put a question mark here because this may be too much too soon, but we'll see. It's loading and loading. It's loading. Oh, wait. I came out as Eula. That's not what I wanted to do. Let's go back. We're going to go back because I need to leave Eula. I didn't mean to bring her out as an NPC. I forgot to leave her. Um, all right. So what else can we, what else can I, I parse out here? Oh, it didn't take any of my notes on that I made. Dang. Okay, I'll have to. Oh, no, it did. It's just not showing them? That was the save and close button I was looking for last time. What is the reason for that? Sounds like a glitch on their part, not my part. Oh, well. <clears throat> okay. Uh, Wolfheim. So. They are going to travel. I'm going to, I have like a, 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 a couple travel maps prepared to kind of, kind of get them there. Um. They have a very, very long way to travel to get to Yargard, which I imagine is where the where it's located. Oh, Stanisgard. Okay, so. Did I miss it? Well, I guess this is why we search things.
Oh, it's way yonder. So they will need to sail to Stannis Guard, more than likely. Um, so what they'll do is they'll make the trip down to Reaver's Cave through some of the woods here and then catch the boat to Stannis Guard. Or they could just catch it out of Wolfham. They may have to fare, fare a boat, though. We're having some problems here. Let's reload. Refresh. Uh, pulled up some wolves because they may encounter them. But now that I'm thinking that they may go by boat and not by land. I'm reconsidering things. This is what happens when you start GM planning, right? I imagine today they're only going to just get out. So I need them to probably... Um, I could make them go on foot to Reaver's Cave. And then meet them down there. Okay. Beautiful. Put you back behind the bar. Okay. She's on top of that and it drives me nuts, but that's okay. Can't always get what we want. Okay. Alright, she's back where she belongs. So they're in this, this tavern. Um, let's go back here. Let's see if we can load the town. Um, okay. Yeah, they'll have to... I think I think that's the way to go. Because then they can make it to Reaver's Cave. Which means I need to think through the Reaver's Cave option. Um, so maybe he's put the wolves in place not to let them leave. But to, to not let anybody go through to get to Reaver's Cave. Which is where the evidence would be that they had been making trades and stuff. I like it. We're gonna let this load because it's it's a big map, and I'm running at a very slow uh, FPS. Okay, it's coming in slowly but surely. Um, okay, I like that. Actually, let's do. Give it to me. Those are the ducks. Here's the church. Temple. Okay. Let's go to the temple. I did build this. I did. I put people in it. I did. Here she is. This is Sister Allegra. This needs music. We need another... I need some vibes. Thinking. Okay, not a church. We'll call it a temple. Oh, yeah. No, that's not what I want. This is what I want. Wrong place. Wrong place. It's a great idea, Darian. Uh, that's kind of how I'm thinking about it is like... Because this is one where I have to actually pre-build the maps, which means my players have to hit what I've built. So I'm trying to kind of plan all three locations where I think they can hit Reaver's Cave, right? Which is where they'll they'll get a boat and then they can make their boat travel over, um, which will be kind of a couple cool map scenes. We won't spend too much time in each one but because there's nothing going on now. But they're going to have to fight wolves to get to Reaver's Cave. Boat over to... Um, Stennis Guard, where they will uh, join the hall and see those events. The Oracle will fill them in. So I actually don't even have the hall built yet. That might be something we can do here at the end. I wanted to make sure these, these things were in place. Looks like I got plenty of people in. Um, I tried to represent uh, each of the gods in various ways that they would probably like worship here or represent here. Um, what did I want? Oh, yes. I wanted...
prestar. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I think I think it's just about hitting the locations, you know what I mean? Like, we won't see a lot of travel in between, so I appreciate that support. Thanks, Darian. I'm trying all of their temple stuff, and then I might try to see if it's just better to have some music in the background. I don't know. Give me the temple of the eye. Okay. Seems like that's not quite right either. Let's see. Is that music? Eerie. Flooding Forge. Frozen. Temple of the Helm, of course. Yeah, I guess we'll go with that one for now. There we go. Okay. I'll close that. All right. Now we've got a little mood here. This will be the lady they talk to. Uh, she'll fill them in on some few things. I listed those here, right? They can She can talk about Loki and his place really not being here. He has none of the temples. More information on the Korngrag brothers and their, like, long-term family obsession. And then uh, potentially some more info on Loki, including, like, Fenrir, what the lore is around around Loki. If they're, if they ask politely. Okay. So... Next, so yeah, they'll hit Stannis Guard and they'll send their other friend back to Bjornreich. Oops. Oh no, the uttermost sea. I got lost. I'm on the wrong side of the map. I gotta go this way. Look at this. I wonder, I need to know, I don't know what Loki's Hall is all about, but I might have to look some of that up. I didn't even know that was over there. A whole island. Just frigid, frozen. You know, they could travel to Loki's Isle, the Isle of Loki, to get the three sisters. Because that's what they're going to find out here in Stannis Guard, right? Is like, uh, she's going to inform them that the sisters are, are forcing this storm from the Isle of Loki. Now that I like. Okay, so we're back. Oh no, that linked to the wrong place, didn't it? Well, I guess it could be worse. Um, I really would like to fix that. Here's our little town. I don't know why there's a huge thing of honey. Uh, we're just going to delete it. Okay, I need to, I gotta fix that. Ah, that's a good thing, right? Because they're technically part of the 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 Coven of Chernabog, right? Because he, he's basically using them. He's using Chernabog and, and his resources because Loki doesn't really have any. Um, uh, so if we come over here to demon cults, so he's using, uh, Loki's, Loki's, or, uh, Chernabog's, like, following, and so maybe he, you're right, he's, like, relocated the sisters to this, like, frigid, frozen isle. Um, I love that. That's a great idea. Edit. So let's actually add that to my notes so I don't forget. This is how I forget things. Reverse cave. Uh... I think I spelled that right. Did I spell that right? Sten is scarred. Sten is scarred. Uh, and then, uh, I bet there's some information. I'm gonna have to look a little deeper, but, um, 
Then we can add on the Isle of Loki. Right, so this is where the Coven of the Night Cauldron is located. Um, uh, from what I can tell, this is a frigid piece of ice rock. Um, not like some cold, but like, look at that. I need to figure out what Loki's Hall is. I might have to ask. Um, perfect. Perfect. Great. Um, I need to edit the portal on this. It's going to go to the green doorway, link those portals. Okay. I'm going to put this too. should have done this right. Let's give it a minute. Let's see if it loads me up. Sounds like it did. Let's see if it loads me outside the temple and not at the front gates. All right. So, uh, I'm going to bring y'all back just for a second so I can show you what I got going on here. Um, so I went through and added those notes. Loved that idea. I'm still not sure why my, all my notes aren't showing. doesn't like the notes I made for some reason. So I'm going to redo them. Hi, welcome in, nerd man. Yeah, you've made it just in time of doing a little world building. And I'm kind of jumping back and forth between it and this VTT. It's cool VTT I'm using. Um, but I need... Uh... Okay. Basically going to create a civil war that'll spread. Okay. Um, let me add this. Located on Isle of Loki. Just decided that, right? Over here. Um, we'll learn... We'll learn about them from... We'll learn about them from the... What was the oracle's name? I cannot remember. No. The oracle's name was the Grindstone Oracle. Let's not look at that. What do they call this thing they do? This... this y Yarn Hall is a place of ordinary meals and pleasant... I, okay, Yarn Hall. And Yarn Hall is one of the places where they hold these feasts. Okay, there we go. Located in Stannis Garden. Which is... Nope, they're hags. There we go. These are my quick and dirty notes. Okay, let's see if I save this. Yes, beautiful. It did the thing. I wasn't doing that earlier. It's good. Good. Okay. Oh, yeah. The VTT we're using is called One More Multiverse. Um, it is... Actually, I'll switch, I'll switch back over to show you. Um, it is an 8-bit uh, like world-building platform where you're can loading character sheets and all the usual uh but everything that you see i've pieced together to like create the town so it's a very interactive process my players right now are down here in this this the, the reaver's den eula's den um but i imagine they're gonna need to leave town so let's see it should lead them here all right um 
This is a bit more of a forest atmosphere. And uh, let's see. I'm going to zoom out so I can see. So uh, they'll basically come out of uh, the city here and begin walking. Um, it's a rather narrow map, which is perfect. Um, not much going on, I don't think. Uh, but I believe if they follow... First off, we gotta get we gotta get some sounds here, y'all. Okay. Arctic. Frozen waste. There we go. And the vibes need to be the usual. Where is it? Forgotten Realms, Fog, Dream. Oh, come on. I know you got one. Snowstorm. And then if, like, they come out, which is, this is really cool. Hang on, let me turn the music down so it's very loud. There we go. Um, I can come here and, like, oh, it's nighttime. Very fun. Um, just depending on what time of day I guess they come out. Um, now, I believe, if I'm correct, I linked them. I guess I didn't. I thought I did. Ah. Right. Right. I know I did this. That's the that's the that's the forest they're gonna have to fumble through. But I swear I connected one of these trees to Alright, let's let's make this a portal. Let's see if I can link them to the This one. Yeah, this is the one. Okay. If they follow they're gonna follow the blood trails if they want to fight the wolves. If not, the wolves are just going to make themselves known and track them, but. So if they want to go fight the wolves, these will be, or they want to track them down because the wolves have been eating all the reindeer. But these are the same wolves that Loki has put in place to keep people from getting to Reaver's Den. So. Um, let's see how we did. Perfect. There'll be somebody here uh, who can kind of report to them and tell them what's been going on and point them in the direction of our dear uh, wolf friends. Uh, what I would like to do, just in case I decide to go into this combat, I need to assign some a character sheet and some stats. Um, how do I do that? Control them. Open the character sheet. Okay. This is just going to be... Name. This will be a winter wolf. Oh, wait. There we go. Wait, is this the regular wolf? Come on. Wolf. Alright. We'll actually call this Wolf 1. Uh, so I don't get them confused. Um, that, none of that really matters. What I need to do is assign the stats. Which I've got over here. So I should be able to fill this in. Manually. Uh, their hit points are actually 11. Of 11. Um, there we go. Strength 12. Oops, nice. Okay. Oh, here we go. Twelve. Fifteen, two. Fifteen. Twelve, three. Oops. 
their intelligence is not very good. Oops. Oh, I see. Their wisdom is 12. And their charisma is a 6. Okay, boom. That's pretty much the base standard stuff. Um, let's see. I'm going to quick drop pack tactics. Did I get it? Okay, cool. Pack tactics. There's no noise on this one either, which drives me nuts. Okay, and then I'm going to do... They have keen hearing and smell. Perfect. And then um, they do have an attack... Here we go. So I can add this as a new action, which would be bite. Thanks, Darian. I really appreciate. Uh, I appreciate it. Yeah, we're just over here, just turning away. Uh, if, if you want to tune in, the actual show is tonight, 6 p.m., everybody. I am planning for our 6 p.m. stream. Uh, so their bite is a plus four to hit. Plus? No, just a four. Okay, so a plus four to hit. The damage is... Is... 2d4 plus two piercing. Great, let's roll it, make sure it rolls. So 14. Okay, sweet. That That's great. Um, okay, so the sheet pops up. It does its thing. That's all I need. Uh, that's the wolf. We'll close that. This dire wolf, I want to... Oh, wait. Did I just do the wrong wolf? I might have. That's okay. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to control this guy. I'm going to edit his character sheet. I should be able to load that character sheet onto him. Let's find out. Wolf. Um. Okay, well, I'm gonna just have to do it again. I'll have to edit his, that's okay. So this is actually the wolf. That was the winter wolf. I can wolf too. Uh, don't have to worry about any of that. Same shenanigans. Same, same shenanigans. Fill them in. What did I say? Uh, did I put their AC? I don't know where their AC is. On here. Hmm. I guess I'm just going to put 13 here, so just be a, a general, I guess, one. 12, 12, 15, 12. 12, 15, 12, 3, 12, 15, 12, 3, 12, 6. Perfect. Okay. Um, I really don't want to have to copy all that back over, but I'm going to have to, aren't I? So, what did we say? It's a four to hit. Four. Bite. I 
I wonder if I could just duplicate this and it'll carry a character sheet over. I bet it will. Uh, 2d4 plus 2. Piercing. Does anybody ask? Feet name. What did I say? Keen hearing and smell. The other feet name was Pack. Tactics. It's hard to say. Just going to quick copy this in. Same thing here. Boom. Okay. Done. I guess I don't have to close. Okay, so that was this guy. If I... If I... Remove control of him. And I edit... Uh... I guess I can't really. Copy him. <laughs> well, uh, I'll have to go one by one, but let me fix his because I can do that. All the stuff I built didn't really load in, but that's okay. Assign change character sheet. This is not the wolf. This is the winter wolf. His hit points are more. <laughs> Not by much, but, oh yes, they are by much. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I did that wrong. Okay, perfect. Uh, his stats are also better. 18, 13, 14. 18. Oops, 18. 13. 14. 7, 12, 8. Welcome in, Nat Fun. Nat 1 Fun, I should say. Negative 2. No, 7. I say 7, 12, and 8. Okay. Nice. Now, they have a whole different group of feats. Uh, they still have bite, uh, so we can leave that, but it's actually 2d6 plus 4. Two D six plus four, and then this hit is actually six. They also have one called Cold Breath. Cold Breath, freezing blast for each creature that must be taking four D eight cold damage. Um, there is no attack on this. They have to make Dex saving throw. Dex save. They have to make a deck stave of DC 12. Okay. Um, it has a lot of the same pack tactics, keen hearing, but it has snow camouflage. It's not really going to be hiding from them, so I can't imagine that's going to be too important, but okay. Okay. So the last thing I have to do, I think I'm going to take one of these wolves away for now. I'm just going to make that one secret so they can't see it. If I want to add one, I guess I can. But we're going to do two wolves. One for time and two because, um, seems odd to me. I can't. Okay, well, um, I'm going to assign that to me. This one, to me. Um, Alright, I need to control that one, and I need to edit its character sheet, which should be done. Sign new sheet two. I gotta just do a new one. This will be wolf one because we changed it already. 
Now they have 11 hit points. Um, I can scroll down here. Uh, their armor is 13. Oops. Welcome to the tedious job that is being a GM. 15. Con is 12. Intelligence is 3. Okay. Wisdom is 12 and 6. 6. Oops. Um, back to the usual. It's going to be 4. It'll be 2d4 plus 2. This will be bite. Um, pack tactics i don't i'm not gonna fill these back in because i pretty much memorized them by now but uh keen hearing and smell basically they're gonna see them coming okay uh, done uh the three wolves are prepped for their combat if that is something that they want to do um if they if they if they choose to follow the, the wolves there um if not um, all right, then they have to go back here. Okay. Oh, no! I took, I took the wolf. I didn't mean to do that. I have to go back because I have to drop the wolf off. I'm very silly. I keep doing that. I have to remove control of them or they come with me. Now there's a wolf in town! That's definitely not what I wanted to do. Okay. Yeah, I like this. They're gonna go to Reaver's Cave to Stannis Guard. Stannis Guard to the Isle of Loki. I think they're gonna go to this place called Loki's Hall. I need to figure out what that is. Might be a question for the okay control. Let's zoom out because technically our wolf friend came from this way. This is their do 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 do. The wolf is moving do do. This tree will take them there. We'll drop him. We'll come back. I need to uh, I need to sort getting them back to that tree, not to ah well, whatever. The mapping of this is actually, I think, the hardest part. Because you have to kind of map it in your head. You're like, okay, from this point to this point. Or that point to that point. Um, and we didn't put any snow. And we didn't put any... I don't even know if we need it. That seems good to me. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to <laughs> remove control <laughs> and I'm going to drop back down over here to where this mat is. Um, actually, I could, I could drop a second map where that one actually brings them in over here, which is what I think I want. So let's actually transform this. We're going to move it so that they come in kind of off the path here. And this is actually going to edit that portal, send them back to this tree. Okay, now I'm going to place a map. I have a feeling we're going to go a little over today. Let's see. Actually, let's do a sign. Okay. 
Okay, we're going to link this. Make a portal. That needs to link to... That actually needs to link to... I actually think this can just lead straight to the snow forest. All right, I think um I think uh I'm going to Can I edit the description so they can read it to say it's not called a signpost it says uh to Reavers Cave. South. So they know that that's correct. Um, let's edit that too. This, set, this should say uh, East. To Wolfheim. Perfect. Okay. So now... Um, I know that's going to work. Let's go back here. Uh, cause I want to check. They have a couple entrances to this one, uh, map and I need to make sure they're all correct. Okay. So this is where they would have like entered, right? Uh, that area. Down here. Make sure. Yep. Perfect. Okay. Okay. The fun thing about this map is it is very much a maze. Um, and that's what it's meant to be. It's meant to feel just like dense forests. There's no path for them. I've been thinking about a, an in-game game that they could play to like try to find the path. Um, there it is. In all its massive snowy glory. The problem is they have to find in all of this um, the the sign post, which I don't even know. It's like, where's Waldo? Because I believe you enter down here somewhere. One of these sticks is the, the key. And I wanted to make it something else. There. That's the one. This is the signpost. Welcome in. Thanks. Yeah. A little sub reaction. action. Glad to see you, Scry Society. We're doing a little RP planning for tonight's game at 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific of our little Northlands game. I think I need to put a lantern there so they can see it because I'm going to... One, one, want that for myself, and two, I want them to be able to see that. So. Maybe I'll do something interesting here where they, uh, they need to find the fireflies. Or something, where there's, like, light-based thing they have to track. There. Let's edit the description of this snowy rock. I want to edit ice shrub. I can get everything but the what I actually want. Just this. Perfect. Okay, so that lets them know they're going back. I already did that. What a good dot in my. I think what we should do 
is like make a path that they're seeking. Yeah, I like that. Um, Okay. I'm thinking if we go south, because that makes sense, right? They're looking for, like, a path. There we go. So like somewhere down here, what I'm gonna do is find a tile. We're gonna drop a snowy path in here now that they can find like here. Like it here. Um, I gotta be able to actually get past the things. Let's, uh, okay. Now what I'm going to do is put another sign. I'll put another sign down here so that they... I like, uh, I like a beast one. Now here's the tricky part, right? Because this needs to link to the code. Which I don't really have built. <laughs> um, let's see if there's something that I can use for that. If not, I will have to build that, which is going to be a whole separate stream in itself. But let's see if I can make that a portal and link it to something that's already made. We have a lot of templates here. Templates are really great for, like, quick editing. seeing anything hmm I could alter the hot springs probably to work let's do that we'll go edit them right now I have to get rid of a lot of stuff, but all right, let's see. This needs to say, two, no, wait, south, two, reverse, reverse cave. I think it's cove. Keep writing cave, but I think it's cove. Oh, um, okay. So, I want to give them some clues. Because I think we're definitely going to set this dark. No. 
So it's difficult to see. And then what I can do is set Let's see if there's a swarm because then I can make the swarm illuminated basically. Yes. Okay, so the sign where they are spawned should be illuminated with a light. I put it there myself. There. So I need to lead them from this corner down, and I'm going to do it with these fireflies. This will be cool. I have to get really, really close. This is going to suck. Ooh, yes, boot snatch. Uh, good call. Uh, Southlands has been very cool. I have been uh, jonesing myself for a little Southlands action, though I haven't quite decided how I'm going to... Uh how I want to do that. Uh, I have a little bit of a setup for another campaign I ran where a bunch of pirates out of the north, uh, out of the Middle Sea uh, get stranded in the, the Southlands because they can't be, they can't be bound to water right now. So I thought they, it would be cool for them to become sand pirates. Uh, right now, yeah, we, I don't know yet. It'll definitely be in 2022 when I start the Sand Pirates campaign, but we have run, um, parts of City of Cats and a Southlands campaign already. You can actually check our YouTube for that. Um. It's too intense. Right? So there's like... So the idea is that they're supposed to be following the lights. But there are no lights. It's a forest. And their their clue will be to find the fireflies. Which I think will be a fun little like... You know. Little mini game in a game. Um, let's see. Let's do one here. I gotta get closer. Whoops. Damn it. Click for me. Oh, nice. 
nice. Glad you, you joined in for the last little bit. But it's like, this is definitely a little bit of a different campaign in regards to kind of the usual VTT experience. But um, I'm really loving it. So, uh, and you can, like, I'm such a sucker for world building um, in almost any regard from, like, you know. So, uh, I love it. Alright, let's zoom in there. I gotta... I got about another 10 minutes before I'm gonna have to go get ready for this stream, in fact. Give me those... Fuck. There it goes. Edit, lighting. Okay. We're almost there ish. I think I got the rock and not the thing, but it's fine. I don't think anybody's going to notice. Maybe since it's two of them, I can make it brighter. Oh. Whoa! Thanks! I really appreciate that. I try real hard to... Uh, to keep it interesting, that's for sure. <laughs> Try hard to keep it interesting. Okay, looks like this will be the last fireflies I have to find. Lighting. On flicker three. Okay. And then once they get down here. I'll close this now. I think what I'd like to do is put a few swarms of fireflies around here. So, uh, I shouldn't have closed that. I'm going to do a much lighter illumination this time. So I can have a bunch of them. can duplicate that. Haha! -ha! That's so much easier. Okay. Lots of fireflies. Love it. Okay, now we can hit over here real quick before this is all done. And... Figure out if we can get this this um, this to look more like a cove. Those are the words I'm, I'm seeking. Um, I don't know that I can, but I can sure try. Um, it seems that it's a bit... Yeah, so see... Um, I don't know what this... Must be a wall. Because I think what I can do, just watch, let's see, if I can go to tiles. Perfect. I'm going to make all of this, right, water. I'm going to have to get rid of some stuff, but that's okay. Go more like a cove. 
And then what I need to do is delete. I don't know how to get rid of those. That must be walls. How to get rid of them, though, is the question. Try that again. There we go. Is this like a... No. I don't really want any walls. Is there a way to like clear them? Oops. That's a new one for me. That's a whole new one. All right, let me get rid of what I can get rid of, I guess. I'll sort out how to... I love all the clothes laying around because it was a hot springs or whatever. Whoa, lots of pants. I think there's a way for me to change... Perfect. Haha! -ha, that's how you get a wall. I knew I'd figure it out. Perfect. Okay. Why didn't that one work? Perfect. Beautiful. Nice. Because if I can get rid of all of this, I can definitely make this look like a cove. And get by with what we got. So I don't have to build from scratch, which is always nice. Then it's going to be time for me to sign off and actually go get ready for this here campaign. Okay. So the good news is this looks uh, pretty good. I need to potentially get rid of this. <clears throat> this right here. The middle. Perfect. Perfect. Um, what I think I'd really like to do is okay, I need to add more water. Because what I really want is for these to kind of look like where deals maybe may go down. But I really, the question is, it's the whole thing. So really what I need to do 
is transform this more open like. So I can like open this whole cove up. And then I can make like icy paths. Let's transform this one. We're gonna bring it farther out. Needs to like on this curve. Let me grab, grab those. this I have an idea love it when thing I get inspired like sometimes it's just it takes me some extra time to piece it all together and decide what I want to do you know um, but once I do it always turns out okay uh, there's gonna need to bring be some uh, these are gonna be boat I'm going to tie boats up here, I think. All right. Now what I need is not cobblestone, but like, I guess just snow. We can just go with snow. Like all the way up to the edge. And then like, I think there needs to be a dock. Come on. Clear. problem is oh you know what I wonder if I could can I turn these around I don't know uh, let's not do that one let's build um, perfect wait I was gonna do well I guess I don't have to now okay now what I'm gonna do is drop a, a boat boat I think I'm gonna do it this one it's gonna be like some kind of ferry that was left that they can maybe get on. Now what I need is a uh, storage. 
which I think actually let's go back I don't want to do that let's go back to tiles I have a thought if I do snow here like it's kind of peeking out in an area like this uh, like so um, this one has a little bit too right I can I can make that storage for Reaver's Den so we come over here boxes Maybe I should do crate. Okay. I feel like I need to set the sounds here to be, um... Hmm... Okay, water keep. I kind of want is there a dock docks district fishing village industrial shipyard no some waves crashing maybe open ocean sea of moving ice perfect vibes are gonna be usual There's our music. Okay, and the last thing that I need is honey and lots of it. I'll open over here. Uh, there will be one boat left. There's.
Oh, wait, I'm not in the right one. I want to put a set of stairs so it looks a little bit better on the ends. Got it. Okay, so then I need to do this set. Okay. I think we're uh, we're set as we're gonna be in regards to this. I need to make this a portal. And I need to link this to I just need to go turn all these off and we will call it quits because whoa, I'm running short on time. This is what happens when I get all into it. Okay. Way longer than I planned. Oh, well, here it is. Their ship. Uh, this is perfect. I do need to add music because that's what we do. Um, water? No. What did we do? Frozen. Frozen waste. Oh, they had an ice cavern. I should set that back. Um, and then... Our vibes need to be usual. Okay. This is gonna go back to the docks. Right? Dang it all to hell. Dang it all to hell. Okay. Uh, I need to link that appropriately or they're gonna do that every time. <clears throat> I think what I need to do is probably um, make that a portal and it needs to go back to the hot springs. Cool. Okay. No, I... Actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna make that secret for now so they can't... Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think we're set, y'all. What I do need to do is go back... Uh... I need to go back... Uh, to... Look at all of the links. I need to go to... The town. I need to go to to Eula's Den. Okay. All right, we are done. We are set. Things are looking up. 
and in my favor for tonight. We're going to see how it goes. Remember, everybody, if you're tuning in, thanks. This has been a kind of a, a crazy little plan, but you got to see a lot of this building. Uh, I got to show you kind of my notes and what I'm thinking for the campaign, and I guess we're going to see what the players do with it tonight. Speaking of tonight, in just a little over an hour, you can drop back by here. We'll be kicking off our second episode of Fimble Winter, which I am actually currently planning for. Uh, Fimble Winter, of course, is... Uh, is a Northlands campaign set in Midgard, and uh, we're going to be using this one more multiverse and the crew from the Last Refuge podcast uh, as our talent for the uh, for the run of the campaign. So make sure to drop by. If you missed episode one, we're going to get that up on YouTube for you. Don't fret. It's in two parts right now here on Twitch, if you'd prefer. Uh, other than that, keep your eyes and ears out. The holidays are coming, which means we are going to have all kinds of awesome sales and bundles going on at Cobalt Press. If you want to get your hands on anything that I talked about today... Uh, some of the guides that I'm using to plan this, of course, uh, we have to reference the Midgard World Book, which is where I get my information on Loki uh, and kind of the general Midgard setting, or I'm sorry, the general Northlands setting. But then we've also got Inbard's Guides to the Northlands, which is the reading that you heard at the top. Uh, it's kind of a deeper dive into some of the very specific places. I've got this grimoire, this warlock grimoire, the first one, which talks a lot about the feast halls of the Northlands. And then, of course, the demon cults and secret societies, which is where I'm finding the information on. And, uh, Chernabog and these night, uh, the witch, the witches of the night cauldron. That's what they call themselves. Woo. That was a lot, but you can get any and all of those over at our store. Says the link. There it is. You can get any of those over on the store. And uh, if you want to come back tonight for Fimble Winter, we'll be so excited to see you here. This has been a little bit longer cobalt chats, but I definitely needed to prep.